The International Criminal Court, ICC, has issued a warning to Kenya's President William Ruto and opposition leader Raila Odinga about the ongoing protests in the country. The ICC court president Pietra Hofmanskai urged the leaders to respect human rights and protect citizens' rights to peaceful assembly. We are deeply concerned about the reports of excessive use of force and violence against protesters in Kenya. We remind the government and opposition leaders of their obligation to protect human rights and ensure that those responsible for any violations are held accountable, Hofmitsky said. The ICC court has sent agents to Kenya to investigate the violence and human rights abuses that have taken place during the protests. The agents landed in the country on March 24, 2023. The protests began after a disputed presidential election, with opposition supporters, alleging that the election was rigged in favor of the ruling party. The protests have turned violent, with reports of police using tear gas, batons and water cannons to disperse crowds, and protesters attacking property and engaging in looting. As a result of the protests, several nations have warned their citizens to be careful when visiting Kenya. The United States, United Kingdom, and Canada have issued travel advisories urging caution and warning against non-essential travel to certain areas. In addition, a significant amount of property has been destroyed in the protests, with businesses and homes being vandalized and set on fire. Last Monday, Several vehicles were burned and shops were looted in Nairobi's central business district. Opposition leader Raila Odinga has vowed to continue the protests twice a week, on Mondays and Thursdays, until the government addresses their concerns about the election. Odinga has accused the government of using excessive force and violating citizens' rights to peaceful assembly. In response to the protests, the government has imported the latest anti-riot equipment, including water cannons, armored vehicles, and tear gas launchers. The government has defended their use of force, saying that they are necessary to maintain law and order and protect citizens and property. President Ruto has expressed concern about the violence and has promised to investigate any human rights abuses. However, he has also warned that the government will take strong action against anyone who engages in violence or destruction of property. We will not tolerate any lawlessness or violence in Kenya. The government will take strong action to protect citizens and property, and to ensure that those responsible for any crimes are brought to justice, Ruto said in a statement. The ICC court has called on both the government and opposition leaders to engage in dialogue and find a peaceful solution to the crisis. The international community has also urged the leaders to respect human rights and protect citizens' rights to peaceful assembly. As the protests continue and tensions remain high, the future of Kenya's democracy remains uncertain. We hope this was informative and entertaining for you. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share our videos. This will go far in helping us make better videos. Until next time, keep twitting and achieving your dreams. Don't let anything put you down. Bye for now.